everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day today. Um, it is pretty warm, but it's also coming into autumn, so I am so, so happy. So it's time for the jumpers, it's time for all the nice cosy things, so I'm ridiculously happy about that. Um, and what I thought I'd come on today um, and show you, and the fact that I haven't got any um, foundation on, just my um, eyes, a little bit of mascara on, is because I, the other day, I bought um, a couple of NARS things, and I wanted to go through them with you and test them out for the first ever time. There's so many that I've tried, literally so, so many, um, but I haven't ever tried NARS, and I'm really excited to try that out with you here today because I thought it might be helpful um, for you to see my first reactions, what I think about it, and if I'm a similar skin tone to you, then you can see if the colour that I'm sort of going to try out is something that would match with you as well. Just a point <laughs> on that. Because obviously with Corona at the moment, um, it's very difficult to get anywhere to actually get samples or get any kind of like um, skin test to see what kind of colour I am. So I did have to pick the foundation online randomly. So let's, um, <laughs> fingers crossed, but please don't um, come at me if it's not perfect for my skin tone. I did try. <laughs> perfect. So the things that I got are from um, Look Fantastic. So I got them um, literally next day delivery, which is amazing. Um, I'm very impatient. We live in that kind of world now, what don't we? We're, we're quite impatient for things, so we kind of constantly want things really, really quickly because we can. Um, and so I was, yeah, anything that's 24 hours is amazing. <laughs> it's bad for the old bank balance. But um, so here's the box that it comes in. Um, not that that's very interesting, but let's dive straight into what I've got. So I've got a few, few little bits. Um, that I got so just to top up I use the Urban Decay All Nighter which I absolutely love as um, probably everybody knows <laughs> or um, the Urban Decay All Nighter is insane it's absolutely gorgeous it um, works incredibly well and to be honest I have tried quite a few and this one actually does what it says so it does um, make your makeup last a lot longer so I absolutely love that so I just got another top up of that one um, I got the NARS um, which I've never tried before, the Light Reflecting set Setting Powder as well. So I've got that one, you can see that. Amazing. I've got the Sheer Glow Foundation, this one here, which I'm really excited about. That's the thing that I'm just like, oh, so excited. Um, also, got the little pump to go with it because I heard that um, it comes in just like a little kind of normal glass, um, what do you call it? One of the ones that doesn't have a pump or anything. <laughs> um, so that's always gonna get quite messy. So I thought I'll get the little pump that goes with that. And because I bought a little collection of the NARS, I got a free little lipstick, so that's exciting. Um, in the shade, hmm. I'm not even gonna try. I was gonna try, I'm not even gonna try. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> um, but it is number 2913D and it's satin NARS lipstick. So I'm really excited about that as well. And a little sachet of Moisture Surge, which if you've ever used before, I absolutely love it. Clinique's absolutely brilliant and the Moisture Surge is fantastic. So that was fun. <laughs> and just lastly, because I couldn't resist, <laughs> I just thought I'd try out, um, because I always use beauty blenders or anything, sort of any sponge. But I thought I'd just try out a cheap little um, sort of wet and wild foundation brush um, just to see if it actually does make a difference sort of using a brush because I hear with things like the sheer um, foundation from NARS that it's quite often better to use a brush rather than a um, sponge so I thought I'd give this a go as well. Okay so we've got the NARS sheer glow foundation um, it says shake well before use which I always do with the foundations. Um, this one is in Santa Fe, which is um, the Sheer Glow. Again, I picked this online, <laughs> so it's. I think it's probably going to be a tad too dark, I'm not sure, um, but we'll find out. So don't mock me. <laughs> but here it is. Can you see that one? Absolutely lovely. Oh, I just love the packaging. And let's see what everyone's talking about. Ah, uh, yeah, so it comes with just a little lid like this, which can be quite messy if you haven't got a pump. I feel like this is gonna not go very well. <laughs> Let's see. So, got the NARS foundation. Oh, that's, that's not good, is it? There we go, perfect. Ah, easier than I thought. <laughs> so, what we're gonna do, what I'm gonna do first is, as I always do with all of my foundations, is I'm just gonna put a little um, base on, which is the Bobbi Brown base, um, which is the Vitamin Enriched Face Base, which is this one here. 
can see that one. So I'm just gonna pop some of that on my T-zone as I usually would with foundation, just before foundation, sorry. Okay, so let's get shaken. And let's pop it on the back of my hand. Oh, be good to open it, there we go. We have to, oh, that came out really quick, okay. Yeah, it's gonna be too dark for me, but that's fine. <laughs> so there it is on my hand. So, oh, it's actually quite thick, so it's not as runny as I thought it would be. So, as I said, what I'm gonna do is use a brush, um, because I hear that it goes on a lot, lot nicer with a brush, um, but it's probably, it depends on how sheer you want it. If you want it quite sheer, then I would say probably a beauty blender. So, let's give this a go. I'm so excited. <laughs> Okay, I started to go over a little bit on this side, <laughs> so apologies, but let's have a look. So this is the side with it on so far. I'm sorry, I know it's not particularly neat yet, but <laughs> so that's the side with it on and that's without. So with and without. And bearing in mind, this is just literally one um, sort of one go over. So I'm not even, I've not even built it up yet. So that's just literally going over once and it is absolutely beautiful. I can see why people rave about this. It is absolutely gorgeous. Wow, that is literally stunning. I absolutely love that. That is gorgeous. What do you think? And also, I would say this isn't sheer. I would say it's more of a medium coverage rather than sheer. Um, I mean, it's certainly not covered up absolutely everything, but it's done a damn good job. And I would say that is more of a medium coverage than a sheer coverage. Um, but what I might do is just see if it can be built on. So if we can put another layer on top to kind of make it into a full coverage, um, but definitely more of a medium. It's absolutely stunning. Usually with certain foundations, I can kind of, it can get a little bit um sort of it can sometimes get a little bit cakey in certain areas but this is oh, it's so smooth so silky um it's it's really really quite flawless and i'm absolutely loving that that is that's really really stunning so i'll put on a second layer and see if it makes a difference at all and if we can build on it that's insane so you can 100% build <laughs> build the coverage on that and it's so so beautiful honestly I've got to probably say this is in leading I'm gonna say it I think I'm gonna say it this is my favorite foundation so far I absolutely love it I've just been trying to put the lid back on top you can't do that once you've got the pump in so that's upsetting um, <laughs> but it still doesn't take away from the fact this is definitely the best foundation I've used so far. It is literally flawless. I don't know if you can, I hope that the camera's picking up that, what, like, I hope the camera's picking up it really nice and well for you. That still didn't make sense, but there we go. Um, but it's just so flawless. I hope that you can see that. It's absolutely gorgeous. So, really, really pleased with that. Really excited to um, carry on using that and doing some different looks with it. Um, I'm just a little bit shocked really, I'm really, really happy with that. So as I say, um, mine, so this is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation and mine was the Santa Fe, which is medium to 6045 and honestly, I am so, so impressed with that. I'm really, really happy with that. That's absolutely gorgeous. More of a medium coverage rather than a sheer coverage. I'm not quite sure. Um, what the name why it says sheer glow but and also i would i would say it is quite like a nice little bit of like a dewy kind of finish but i wouldn't say it's it's like really really glowy i'd say it's just the perfect amount um so i'm really really impressed with that 
Um, I hope that you enjoyed um, my little, I just was so excited when it was coming in the post, I thought I want to show you, I want to do my first impression, see if all the hype is actually correct about this product. Um, it's a brilliant product and I highly, highly suggest checking it out if you were on the look for a new foundation. So. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I'm just about to go and film my advent calendar unboxing, so I'm really, really excited about that. So I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I am going to do the video, film the video all ready for you. Um, as I say, it might already be up, so check it out if it is, um, but if not, look out for it very, very soon. So I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, pop a like um, and write a comment in the comment section below. Um, let me know what your favorite foundation is because I'm really, really interested to see what everyone's favorite foundation is and if you've actually tried this product before is it something that you've liked um i'd really really be interested to hear that so have a wonderful rest of your day i hope you enjoyed um this little unboxing and um sort of tester of the nars um sheer glow foundation and i will speak to you very very soon bye